are going to continue that dream by marching for a fair overtime pay, the same as almost every other California worker. Recently, you got a farm worker, you know, has been pushing and talking about AB 2757, the phase in overtime for agricultural workers act of 2016. Already more than 7,000 members have pledged to support it. The bill would phase in paying California farm workers overtime if they work more than eight hours a day or 40 hours a week. By, can you believe this, 2020. So it's a long struggle, but this is the beginning. And uh, this weekend, Excavator there's going to be a march, Sunday, April 10, at 10 a.m., down south in Oxford, California, at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning at Sisa Chavez Elementary School. And the following week, Sunday, April 17th, at 11 a.m., it returns back to the valley at Our Lady Guadalupe Church in Belenu, California. That's right. Mark those on your calendar, and we'll be watching the United Farm Workers and their fight to bring dignity and respect to thousands of workers, not only in California, but also in Baja. Lots going on here. First of all, I'd like to throw a special cue up there to the North Bay and uh, to the folks who came together yesterday at the Sustainable Enterprise Conference, uh, looking at the whole situation and how we can bring stability and at the same time stabilize the world and save it. 
but uh, the effort behind to bring leaders and voices to look at the economy and especially to start looking at looking at ways to take our money out of Wall Street and bring it to local communities and local control by public banking out there to Cuba, to La Chelle, Warren, to Mike, to Robert, uh, Jeffrey, uh, John, and everyone else that put their lives and effort and sweat into making yesterday successful. Cuba to you, and the fight continues, and it's interesting, you know, after Wall Street speculators and big bankers fire crashed the economy in 2008, many countries eh, around the world went after those responsible for their collapses and put them in jail. And even though U.S. bankers were mostly responsible for this worldwide catastrophe and disaster, none went to jail. A major reason was that the uh, financial industry, the banking industry, was President Barack Obama's biggest campaign contributor. And now, as I say that, the front democratic... The has picked up the target. Go in the polls the for the presidential race, and you know Some who she is, you know, we'll has made no move. commitment because she's also big time supported by those huge banks and financial interests out of Wall Street, which is why she has made no comment or either about jailing those financial corrupt officials or try even to talk about breaking big banks or seriously reforming Wall Street. And uh, not just uh, are the big banks behind her campaign, but so is the petrol industrial complex in this country. Same